hey guys welcome to my channel i'm back with a new video and this is all about the carbon rom i've been using carbon rom as my daily driver and this is what i have to say about it so without wasting any more time let's get started so let's start this review with the customization options so you get all the customization options under the tab called fibers and the description says it's a healthy source of your daily fiber that's a nice description over here you get just six options that is the system status bar lock screen buttons gestures privacy and security so let's start with system over here you get the global actions under which you get the advanced restart and power menu and screen of animation then you get the volume customization recents that's all you get in status bar you get the network traffic indicator you also get tick on the song change then you get the uh, your normal clock and date and battery customization options you get this battery styles then you get the notifications over here you get the uh, ticker or heads up depending upon whichever you like in lock screen you get the charging info and you can also edit the shortcuts then you get the quick unlock you also get out of face unlock although uh, i'm using the pico gf so I have not tested the face unlock but if you are using the nano g apps then face unlock should be working and you can also scramble the pin layout that's my favorite feature in button you get the software button that is the navigation bar and you also get the pixel animation as you can see then you get the toggle dodge when screen is off then you get the advanced option that is you can customize the hardware button double tap single tap and long press sections in gestures you get carbon gestures which is new to uh, any custom rom i have seen so far you can add four gestures with two fingers so if i set a down gesture to something like if I set the volume should be mute and if I swipe two fingers down the volume is mute and if I swipe two fingers down once again it is right now on the normal volume you can also take screenshots as you can see I just took a screenshot you can do much more over here you can customize how many fingers you want you can also take four fingers and just do what you want then you have lift to check your phone that is uh, always on display and ambient display i will talk about that also then in the security and privacy you get to enable the untrusted overlays you can hide apps from recents then you get the carbon statistics this all you get in the fibers now let me talk about something which i liked about this rom that is the always on display you get always on display but do know that it will drain your battery so use it at your own risk that's what i have to say so overall this rom is great but there are some bugs in this rom so let me talk about them first bug that i have encountered is that you do not uh, your hardware buttons do not light up okay so that's a known bug and also the other bug that i have encountered is that the, the notification led is not working while the phone is charging so that's something that needs to be fixed and hope that gets fixed soon but there is another thing that just is really interesting to check out in any rom is that delta updates if you guys have seen my omni rom i have talked about the delta updates what are delta updates in that video you can check out that uh, so basically delta update means you just get what is new in the latest build and it just skips what has been already installed on your device so basically in short and simple this is what it actually means so yeah this is all for this no this is not enough by the way i just forgot about the battery life and performance so this is what you get i unplugged the device at 96 percent and right now it is 53 percent and the screen on time is 5 hours and 19 minutes this is my usage and and what and the performance is okay you get some uh, pre-installed apps such as the vanilla music player then you get the carbon browser uh, which is their own browser and that's it you just get the default camera app that's all you get 
and gallery is also there there is no lag in the gallery so yeah volti works by the way you don't get the volti logo over here and video calling which does not work so that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if yes then do drop a like on this video share this video with your friends i don't know whom you will share with this but definitely share this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification icon for more such awesome videos about custom roms thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video